Hello everyone. What I'm going to do is I'm essentially going to show you how I turned this original horizontal into a nine by 16 and also added different overlays. Here we have my Premiere Pro project. I like to make these sort of moody documentary style vlogs. I took the pieces of the content that I knew I wanted to use and just threw them into another sequence, didn't change sequence settings, anything like that. Built into Premiere, you can actually take any sequence and click this setting and have it auto reframe it, reframe it to be the correct size that you want. Click on the content I'm using right now. So this is Premiere Clip 1. I have it highlighted now. I'm gonna right click on it, go to auto reframe sequence. That's gonna bring up a new bounding box for us with some options for us to play around with. Sequence name, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that the same. If you were wanting to rename things, that's where you would do that. As you can see, I use this a lot. So it's already on the aspect ratio I want, which is vertical nine by 16. I'm going to leave the motion tracking to default clip nesting. Now I know this confuses a lot of content creators and just people in the platform. In general, if you're doing what I'm about to do, turning your original horizontal content into vertical, don't nest clips is going to be your best option. But if you've got some free time, play around with nesting clips so you can see what those differences are. Hit create. It's going to start to take its best guess of analyzing each of the shots and using the power of Adobe Sensei like kind of try to follow us around. And let's see how it does with me putting my shoes on and we're completely in a vertical workspace now. It has taken my 4k footage and put it into a vertical space trying to make it as best as it can. If I want to turn that content into vertical I just double or triple it up and just put it in the frame a lot of times. But you're going to hold down option click and drag and it just duplicates that clip again above it. And I'm going to do it one more time and now now I have three of the same identical clip. Then starting from the top, I'm going to make sure my effects controls are highlighted. And you'll see here is where auto reframe has done whatever it wanted to do with trying to adjust the frame to work. We're just going to turn it off. Now we have access again to our motion assets that we can now mess with. And we're just going to scoot it up to the top here. And we're going to redo that now for the rest of the clips. One tip that I find that people forget about is if you hit motion, you'll notice it'll show you the bounding box of the video clip that you're working in, which can be helpful for just like, if you're like me and you like to eyeball things a lot, we have our frame just tripled up, super easy. This doesn't work because, you know, it's pretty dark in the car. The same thing again. Good enough. Let's hop into Express. Here's a, a backup one I made. I added some very simple lines to break up our try video footage link that we have there. We have our original little graphic that I created as well. And I'm just gonna show you like super quickly how you can create very simple overlays. If I head over to shapes here, we can like type in most of the social media platforms that are available to us now. So for example, TikTok, we have the TikTok logo. I'm gonna go ahead and click it and add Add it really easy just dragging and dropping put it where i want it i'll go ahead and just pick this one let's add some text i went over to the text tool here in the corner a lot of templates from you to choose from that you can add add your text at halise is the TikTok one. One more at Halise. These font recommendations here in the corner, giving you just options, options of what it thinks will work. I think it's just really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and make our text white, which will make it hard to see while we're still here. But just so I make sure I get it right on the export, we're gonna turn them white. What does that look like? Oh, obviously it's gonna be on top of our text. So all we're gonna do is just take that layer, drag it to be below it, change the color. When you're exporting any of these sort of like overlay ideas that you produce, Produce and express. Make sure that you have PNG transparent background selected. And we're going to hit start download and hit save. I am going to unzip it because when you do have multiple pages, it saves it as a zip for you. Let's now throw our overlay just straight. You know, I'm not even going to be organized about this, just straight into there. When I designed this vertical in Express, I designed it to be vertical 4K because I shoot in 4K. But Adobe or Premiere, when it does auto reframe, it's a smaller zoom out a little bit. Let's throw on the one that y'all are going to get to mess with as well. This one I actually took some time to make to make sure readability was not an issue for this one <laughs> but as you can see it just goes on top of the footage we add that much more value overall production value i'll see you when i see you